Welcome back to Great Day Washington. From heart murmurs to hyperlipidemia, there is a whole range of heart issues that can affect children. And joining us today on Miracle Monday is Dr. Ashraf Harasha. He's a preventive cardiologist at Children's National Health System. Welcome. Welcome, thank you so much. Good now, morning. First of all, tell us about heart problems and how they can manifest in children. So it's very common for us pediatric cardiologists to see children referred by their pediatricians with chest pain or with fainting. Uh, some children during the examination, the pediatrician can pick up additional heart sounds. We call that heart murmurs. These are the common complaints that often pediatrician will send those patients to us, the majority of which don't have an underlying heart disease, but some of them might have a true cardiac disease that might need further intervention or surgeries or exercise restrictions. Are they misdiagnosed a lot? Because that doesn't seem like heart mm. symptoms to me. I'm, obviously, I'm not a doctor. So most of the time, pediatricians are very cautious, and they send us tons of patients with these complaints. Uh, it is upon us cardiologists to examine the children, listen to the story, talk to the parents, get the family history, and then make a decision whether the child have a heart disease or not. The majority of the children seen in our offices don't have heart disease. They actually are able to go back and participate in sports. Well, that's good news, but tell us about heart Heart problems when children you hear they say they were born with a heart condition what does that mean and what are they that's a great question so congenital heart disease is the most common birth defects uh, in children and uh, this is a something that can affect up to one percent of the general population so we're talking about children born with either a simple heart lesion in which no intervention will be needed or a more complicated uh, uh, anatomy in which surgery has to be done immediately after birth and in between the all the children will lay uh, between those some of the children will require heart surgery by one year of age some of them they just need to require frequent uh, monitoring oh, okay. and that's be and that's kids that are born with this is there a lifestyle thing that they have to watch out for as well that's a very good question so the other issue that we deal with is hyperlipidemia and uh, elevated lipids and you know being born with a congenital heart disease increases your risk for developing adult onset cardiac disease. So all the teaching that we give to the general public about a therapeutic lifestyle, about eating healthy and exercising, has to be also adapted by all of those children and their families because they already have something affecting their heart. They don't need other uh, factors playing with, with their risk in the future. So a child who has heart, if I understand this correctly, who has some type of heart condition, it's so much more important that they live a healthier lifestyle, they eat healthy, because the, the downside of that is in adulthood, what happens? That's a very good question, absolutely. I mean, if you were born with a heart condition, we know now that your risk of developing a heart disease in the future is increased. And we ought to prevent you from smoke exposure. We ought to prevent you from getting obese if you get hyper tension, we should treat it. If you get diabetes, we should control it. And, you know, the goals are to reduce the other risk factors for adult onset cardiac disease. The fact that you were born with a heart condition is something that we cannot change. But what we can change is the environment around you, is the smoke exposure, is the diet that you eat, is the exercise that you can put in. Smoke exposure for kids, though, I'm probably not less. Is, is, are kids smoking as well? I mean, I know the eating problem is, is a challenge. So we deal with children anywhere between 0 to 21 years of age as a pediatric cardiologist. Oh, My yeah. colleagues in adult congenital deal with them after. But we have problem with parents and family members smoking in yes. the houses of those children. Ah, that's and, a challenge. And what, if, if that is a challenge, where do they go for more information? Um, so childrensnational.org is a good source uh, for such patients. We have tons of uh, uh, websites uh, uh, to try to prevent the smoking in general in the population. Well, doctor, thank you so much. Lots of good information this Miracle Monday.